Hi guys, this is uh, John back again with another model final reveal video. This is the final reveal for the Airfix White's M3A1 half track. Um, this kit had a little bit of a... It was a bit of a personal, I really want to build this kit. Because in actual fact, the, the Airfix half track was the very first model I ever tried to build. Um, I do remember me saying in a Matchbox um, video about Matchbox kits that the first kit that I ever built myself was the Focke-Wulf FW190 from Matchbox. But in actual fact, this was the first model that I remember dragging my mother into town when I was about four and a half, maybe five years old. And I wanted to buy something that was a model because my brother built models at the time and I really wanted to have a go at one. And my mistake, I bought probably one of the most difficult Series 1 kits Airfix have actually built in terms of getting it to fit together properly. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit for this. I don't want to overdo the image much. I'm going to try and zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Hopefully there. Because this kit has actually come out quite nice. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm getting a bit better at uh, military vehicles and tanks, but this kit is actually quite nice. I did do uh, quite a bit of work on the painting on this particular kit, and as you'll see in the uh, the build progress video that I'll put up, um, it's actually pretty much the same length as my hand, which is quite nice. The colours I painted this kit in were just basic matte humbral matte 30, ordinary medium green, and the canvas cover for the top of the trailer was actually painted in a US olive drab um, semi-gloss colour. Um, which I thought was quite. I wanted to, I wanted it to be semi-gloss because I wanted it to have that barber wet leathered look, um, which a lot of military vehicles actually have. A lot of people don't realise, but a lot of the canvas covers on military vehicles, especially during World War Two, were actually waxed. They were waxed canvas to help keep the water out from the ammunition in the stores that were often carried inside the um, the trailers. Um, <clears throat> and I wanted to recreate that look, um, which was quite nice. I just want to show you, I'll just unhook the trailer here. I'll just, just show you. The trailer itself is it's really basic. You know, it's not an awful lot to it. It's quite easy. Very simple build. The kit actually is quite a simple build, but there is a couple of issues with it. The first is that the tracks on the, on the, the half track are actually, the wheels, bogey unit assembly and the tracks are all one part. Um, obviously you've got one each side and they're, they're quite a mare to paint and get correct but um, you know, with a bit of perseverance you can actually do it quite nicely I did the exhaust pipe of this kit in Tamiya Titanium Silver and also painted the tracks in Tamiya Titanium Silver which is an acrylic metallic paint and I think it's you know I wanted to get away from that matte brown and black look on exhaust pipes because I wanted this kit to have a you know, if you like a stainless steel exhaust, and funnily enough, a lot of the uh, the White's half tracks are actually fitted with semi -st uh, sorry stainless steel exhaust systems after World War Two, and uh, I wanted this one to to have one of those. Also, I I did a little bit of paintwork on the front grille there to darken it down inside the vents, um, and also wanted to make sure, being a slightly shiny coat on this green, I wanted to make sure the transfers went on without any backing film showing. And they have. And uh, just in case you wondered, Bill, yep, <laughs> there's the guy driving the uh, the truck. I know how you like to see things populated. Pilots driving figures, all sorts of stuff. I know how you like to see it. So I'll definitely put him in there. He's, you know, he's come up quite nice. I was quite impressed with that. So, whoops, let's get that hooked up. There we go. So the, the kit itself is a Series 1 kit. Um, I built this from one of the Heller boxings. There'll be a build progress video for this. There weren't an awful lot of issues for the build on this kit. I did quite a lot of the painting prior to final assembly. Um, the other issue, that there is actually one major issue with this kit, is the fit around the bonnet. Um, the fit around the bonnet is quite tricky to get right. Um, and I think it's quite important that you loose fit the bonnet top to the front 
fascia of the vehicle itself when you're putting the side of the body, the you know the, the side panels of the body together because the side panels and the front of the bonnet sides are actually one part and you have to make sure that that bonnet fits correctly on the top if you don't there'll be a gap at the top and um, it's not an easy fill I did try and I did try and jig it properly but it just that there was a slight gap on the one side um, and I did fill it reasonably well but um, perhaps I should have put a bit more filler in there as you can see um, just unhook the trailer again you can see there is a slight yeah, a slight gap in there can you see that but if you jig it properly, that shouldn't happen, and it should be more like that side. But it's only a slight gap, you know. Maybe a couple of other, other bits of paint in there, and it will go in quite nice. The tyres um, were actually painted in just Humbrol Mat 33, and the machine gun is painted in Semi Gloss 85 Matte. Semi, sorry, Satin Coat Humbrol 85 Gloss. Um, and I did a few touch-ins here and there with some acrylic silver paint just to highlight some of the, the features on the vehicle you know the axe handles the tops tops of the uh, jerry cans there and the, the other tools on the other side um, so altogether I actually thought that this kit came out quite nice um, I was quite impressed with the finish I got on this particular kit because it, it was 30 million times better than the first um, the first effort I ever did as a five-year-old child that my brother had to bail me out of and even he couldn't re repair the damage that I'd done. I think I used virtually half a tube of glue trying to put this kit together when I first bought it back in 1970 um, when the kit was a bag kit. It was, I'm pretty sure I bought it in Woolworths as a bag kit series one and in those days bag kits were also series two kits um, type three and type 2 headers they weren't converted until um, blister packs until about 1972 so that's the airfix whites m3a1 half track um, i hope this video's been uh, enjoyable for you to watch thanks for tuning in uh, if you've got any qu questions or any queries just pop them in the comments so i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible uh, thanks for watching um, and i hope all your projects are going smooth see you again soon bye bye